So this is a simple of how you use a service method in an application module. So what you do is you double click the application module, you go to the Java section and you click to add the implementation class for your application module. Then you can click the application module implementation class and actually go directly into the code editor. Right? So we're going uh, to write a little method that actually manipulates the employees views that you're seeing on the left side in the data control. So this is a method that returns a string we're going to call it manipulate view and we're actually going to pass a parameter of type string and all we're going to do is actually restrict the number of rows that we're fetching in this view object so then we're coding in the application module we can use all sorts of methods uh, such as define view object which accepts a parameter and the parameter is actually the name of the view right so this name needs to be exactly as the name appears in your data model which is what you're actually seeing on your data control on the left then we're passing the control shift v to introduce a variable into our method okay call it vo so the method basically is returned into a variable called vo then on vo we can start invoking view object methods such as the set where clause right and we're just going to very, do a very simple where clause where we're basically saying rona must be uh, smaller than the parameter that we pass to this method Next method we're going to invoke on the VO is called execute query, which would actually populate the VO with a set of records. And then we're going to just return some string that would basically tell us how many records we're expected to fetch here. So this is very simple Java programming in a specific location. You can compile everything, make sure that you're okay, save it and then go to the application model and what you want to do now is expose this method as a client interface method so this is basically a method that is going to be exposed so end user um, UI developers can use it if you refresh the data control now you'll see this method at the same level as your application model right? and if you'll expose it um, you'll be able to drag and drop it into the page for example to create a parameter form and ADF is smart enough to recognize there's one parameter uh, to this method and based on this it will create a page or basically a section of the page where there's an input text for the parameter as well as a button that actually invokes the method right? can they take the result and put it inside the same page let's say as an output text component and take the actual view object and we'll put it inside the page as a table so now we have a page where we have a button to invoke a method, uh, input text to pass a parameter, and a view object that actually displays records. Let's save everything and run our page. Okay, so initially we get all the records in the table. Then we can pass a parameter to the method saying we just need five records. Click the button to invoke the method. The method goes, filter the view object, and returns the data to the page.